Hi, I'm Jesse Grimes. Welcome back to the channel. So today, and for this past week, I've been revisiting a project I helped out with last fall. Um, my friend Caroline has a landscaping business near Chico in Oroville, California. And this is one of her clients here. So last fall, I did a designed and built a water harvesting system for the fruit orchard, the food forest. And so we'll go and check up on that and get a little update. Uh, before that, I just wanted to show you what we've been doing this week. Been saying hi to the dogs, but uh, mostly we've been doing fire clearance. So we've been taking out some trees and taking out a ton of brush. As you can see, it's big brush piles everywhere. And uh, so this is to protect from fire. And also we're going to chip up, we're just going to hire a chipper to come and chip up these piles of brush and make some more mulch for the food forest area. Sorry about the noise. But um, I'm actually going this weekend. I'm going to go back to Sebastopol to the Permaculture Skills Center and uh, attend a panel on fire ecology and some of the ways we can manage for fire in California and other fire prone areas uh, in a way that helps the ecology and uh, also helps us less, be less susceptible to having these big huge damaging fires. Actually if you look, I don't know if you can see across the road there, there was a big fire here a couple years ago and as you can see it's still pretty bare up there. Um, and that's because that fire gets so hot, it actually burns the soil. And that's when we get these big damaging fires. So um, by doing clearance like this, we can have a much cooler fire. Fire doesn't, that doesn't get up into the crowns of the trees. And uh, it's actually good for the ecology around here. So um, I know a little bit about it, but I'd like to learn more. And I'm uh, living in Grass Valley now. There's a lot of work that needs to be done, clearing out these mountains with all the brush that's, that's growing in there. We're actually kind of replacing, um, doing the job of what the elk and the deer uh, used to do. There used to be tons and tons of elk and deer that would eat a lot of this underbrush, as well as the indigenous populations here would set fires all the time. Um, it's said that when the Spanish first saw the Sierras and came to the foothills, they said you could see for a half mile into the forest because of how cleared out it was by the fires and the animals. So I'm really excited to learn more about that coming up this weekend, but for now let's show you the water harvesting system, the food orchard. So here's one of those road cut, um, road diversions that I put in. You can barely see it, it needs to be weed whacked. But it's collecting water off of this road, and it's going through a small little ditch here, and then into the orchard. So this is one of the points at which this system collects water. You can see the grapes are doing great right now. Everything's doing really good. It's almost beginning of summer, just uh, June 1st today. There's another one of these water harvesting ditches here. Another dog. This is also collecting water off the driveway, as well as this uh, area up in the, at the garage here. So this is kind of the top of the system, and I did another video on this when we installed it, and everything is really just freshly dug up, so now you can see it's all grown in quite well. These basins uh, have vegetation in them. Some of them have been turned into paths, but uh, it all seems to be functioning really well. You can kind of see where the water escapes and uh, all the spillways are still intact. So that's good to see. So that, that all drains across the road and into that diversion there. And then up here we have kind of a zone one area that we did some work in and Caroline and her team has been Installing an incredible zone one garden up here. So there's all kinds of medicinals and edibles. I've been labeling all the plants this week too. So yeah, this is all looking really good. This is a rain garden right here, and there's asparagus grown in there. As long as all the cover crops got all this clover and the bees are just going crazy over it. So this this turned out really well. We got a hugo culture with some potatoes in it here. And this all drains out down that channel over this little spillway here and then that ends up in the, the orchard as well. Let's go check it out. So after we did all the disturbance here with the excavator digging these swales, right now I'm kind of standing in the top swale, uh, they came through and spread some nitrogen fixing cover crop. So you can see a lot of that's coming up under these trees here. All these trees were heavily mulched at the time as well. 
And it's just all coming in really nicely. Uh, I got a bed of sun chokes coming up over here. Those are very, very pretty when they flower. But yeah, it's all growing in really well. You got some fruit just starting to come in beginning of summer. These are fajoas or pineapple guavas. That's a little focus right there, but these are actually really tasty just to eat these petals. They're delicious. And this is loquat. This is one of the best loquats I've ever eaten off of. One of my favorite trees. They just produce tons of fruit. Um, grow really well where it's warm. Yeah, here we're in another one of the swales here. I'm walking down it right now, and it's just lush through here. This is being irrigated um, on top of collecting all the water when it rains in the wintertime. It wasn't a huge winter, um, rain-wise, but pretty average, I think. But you can tell all the trees are really doing really good. There's lots of uh, undergrowth. we got some chickens in here now. Little heirloom chickens are coming around doing their jobs. Yeah, it turned out really well. It's really cool to come back and see this. Um, yeah, coming into its own and just evolving into a little food forest here. A lot of these trees are already here, but they're installing more. We got some avocados going, and some pawpaws, and various other plants there have been brought in and just kind of filling in the gaps and adding to it. Now we got the chickens in here, so they're doing some of that work. They're right underneath this mulberry tree. This is a classic example of connecting two elements. The mulberry produces a mass of fruit, gets all over the ground, and then these chickens being underneath it get a nice tasty snack and help clean up some of that fruit that falls. It's a good uh, beneficial relationship. But yeah, everything, like I said, is doing great. Lots of greenery in here, and uh, it's just cool to see. This is the first time I've done a, a water harvesting system on this scale. Uh, you know, I've dug little urban, suburban swales and stuff, but uh, we brought an excavator for three, four days and dug a whole system throughout this whole orchard and up there by the house. Um, it was really good to see it all work and, and survive the winter. Um, all the spillways are still intact. Nothing seems to have been damaged, and all the trees seem really healthy, so it's really good to see that. Um, and we'll be working out here more this, this year, so there'll be some more videos to check out as we... Uh, do some different things out here. So, like I said, I really enjoy working at this place. It's it's a great environment to work. Get to eat mulberries and loquats and just hang out in the orchard all day. But um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Got a little update on a past one. And if you want to support the channel, please go out to patreon.com/slash Jesse Grimes and become a patron. I'll see you next time.